Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Now let's see the effect of change. We will look at two scenarios now. One scenario is the airship is operating from some altitude to an altitude which is below the pressure altitude. Okay. Now listen very carefully. You have to apply your mind and understand what is happening. So let's say the pressure altitude is 1500 meters. You are operating from 500 meters to 600 meters. Okay. The airship changes altitude from 500 meters to 600 meters. So I would like to know the net static lift will not change as long as you operate below the pressure altitude. Gross will change. Gross static lift is going to what? Decrease or increase? Gross static lift is going to decrease or increase? Okay. Somebody is saying increase, somebody is saying decrease. Decrease or increase? Decrease. No. Okay, decrease. Fine. Why will it decrease? Because density of the air is decreasing with the altitude. So the gross static lift will decrease. Basically, gross static lift is what? Volume into density difference. So density difference, density of the gas inside is not changing. We are assuming, we are not assuming. Uh, super pressure, super heat, etc. We are assuming the density inside remains same. So density outside is falling. So the difference is decreasing. Therefore, the gross static lift will decrease. However, as you go up, what do you do with the balloon? You throw out some air. So what is the increase in the volume of the lifting gas? It is equal to the decrease in the volume of the balloon. So, the net static lift will not change as long as you maintain below pressure altitude because the weight of the balloonet air released is equal to the reduction in the gross static lift. Some amount of balloon air is thrown out. By that amount, the lifting gas volume is increasing. So, as long as you maintain your altitude from any altitude up to pressure height, there is no change in the net static lift. Okay? But there is change in the gross static lift and there is change in the balloon air volume and hence weight. In the previous slide, so under ISA conditions, the temperature that the temperature that is prevailing at a particular altitude is equal to the temperature in the ISA table. Okay. And essentially, I have actually replaced the pressure also, PS is standard, TA is equal to TS and PS is anyway equal to PS. So both the pressure and temperature are going to be as you have in the ISA table. That is how we got the ratio of uh, pressure by temperature as equal to the ratio of pressure and temperature at sea level and sigma. See what we have done is we have used rho P by T is equal to rho P by T. So at the pressure altitude P is equal to P pH, T is equal to T TH, rho is equal to rho H, rho is equal to rho at pH. And at sea level, it will be P0, T0 and sigma uh, rho 0. So when you take a ratio, you will get rho H by rho 0, which is sigma. So P by T is equal to P by T at sea level into sigma. So we have assumed both of them to change. Okay. So this is clear. So we can summarize 
that if delta operating that is change in the operating altitude is below the pressure altitude then delta ln or the net lift change is 0 since wba delta wba is equal to delta lg now this thing is not true when you go above the pressure altitude because above the pressure altitude we are not throwing out the air we are throwing out the gas and gas is lighter than air so to that amount there will be lesser weight loss okay so there will be a change in the static lift so above pressure height what are we doing lifting gas is released instead of balloon at air now the density of the lifting gas has to be less than the density of the ambient air that is why we are getting buoyancy so there is something called as relative density it is always less than 1 and farther you are from 1 better is the lifting gas hydrogen being helium uh, hydrogen is the best one but helium is normally used so it is 0 0.1382 so the density of a given amount or given volume of helium is only 13.82 percent of the density of given um, right so therefore if you throw out helium instead of air you are not going to throw out heavy things you are going to throw out lighter things so the weight of the lifting gas released is only rd into lg rd lg times the reduction in the gross static lift so therefore the net static lift therefore will be reducing so the net static lift is going to reduce above pressure height because the change in the lifting gas is going to be not equal to the change in the gross lift but a small percentage of that so this is an important observation and which we should understand and keep in our minds <laughs>